Hello, my friends, and welcome to the live stream. My name is Pamela Stewart. I'm an author of Young Adult Science Fiction and Fantasy. And today we're going to do some unicorn writing sprints or creativity sprints or productivity sprints. Whatever you need to work on, these sprints work for you. They're highly effective. That's all I'm going to say. How is everyone? How was your first week of NaNoWriMo? I got some good vibes going on this week. I am excited to be here this Saturday. I have all of the energy to share with you. And I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready and prepared to dig into your work in progress and to make some excellent progress. I had to put up a poster board in front of my window because there was so much like light, like you guys would have been blinded. I looked like I was like, uh uh lit by a thousand candles i don't even know like it was just crazy so we might have a falling or a crazy thing happen a little bit so you never know unicorn sprints you know who knows there's gonna be so many crazy things happening well hello barb hello hello Anna. hello shadow heart how are you my friend yay and chloe's here and cassie's here we gang is here Oh my God, I am excited to see you all. I'm so glad you guys are ready to join me on this beautiful Saturday. We're having another unseasonably warm Saturday here in Michigan. So I have been out and about enjoying it. In fact, I had a hard time making it back to the chair, getting my writing done today. But the beauty of these sprints are now I have time to set with you and focus and we can work on this together. And then we can go back out and enjoy more of the day. So please share in the comments how how is everyone doing? Yeah, Pam 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 Pam. How are you doing in life as well as writing as well as any other creative endeavors that you're working on? I had a major change. I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, back I'm I'm to my this is the darkest my hair has been in a really long time. This is sort of my natural shade. And it's very fallish shade. It's kind of a dark brown with a little bit of red. It feels very folly. And it's actually close to my natural shade. I'm uh, quite a weird hair color, naturally. So I had lightened it up a bit. And now I'm back to my, back to nature here. Well, hello. Hello. Hello, Miss Brenda. Hello. I'm so happy to see everyone here. Oh, my God. It's going to be great. Yay. And I bet you all are wondering what a unicorn sprint is. For those of you just joining us, my name is Pam again, and I am a writer of young adult science fiction, science fiction and fantasy. The links are below. Uh, I would love if you'd like and subscribe. It really helps me out. It also, um, I do these sprints about once a week. I sometimes do extra videos. It's been a while since I've done an extra video about productivity as well as writing, and hopefully they're helpful to you. Um, so... You never know. Like I, I am a little bit wacky. This is this is the package you get if you if you sign up. <laughs> Lots of motivation and a little bit of crazy. How's that? Okay, so unicorn sprints are. We're gonna randomly pick a number between one and ten, and that's gonna determine the length of the sprint. And I have randomly assigned time, uh, time periods up to forty five minutes, down to ten, for each one of these uh, numbers. So. And I'm not sure we're going to choose. So anyone got a suggestion? I think that we can do a random number generator and find out uh, what fun number. And I think I'm going to sh even show you. I think I know how to do that. But we'll see. Uh, I want to know how y'all are doing. So please share. Hello, hello, Miss Brenda, Miss Barb, everyone. I'm so happy to see you. Oh, all right. Chloe already picked seven. All right, so we're done. We're, we're, we're going with seven. I'll take it. First in, first, first to voice her opinion. And the number is, we're going to do 16 minutes, Brent, for the first one. 16 minutes. And so whatever project you are working on, and I can randomly change these, like, next time we do Unicorn Sprints. So you never know what you're going to get. Um, you were lucky. You missed the 45 minute or <laughs> to start out with 45 minutes would have been a little bit of a challenge. I have been plotting all week myself and 
um, doing a lot of dictation. I love Dragon Naturally. I actually record a lot of um, an MP3 on my phone while I'm at work or not during work twitch periods, but um, I try to get a lot of my story out. Uh, this is, I'm still working on the outline. I, the story is still gelling. It's a huge story. In fact, my uh, space fantasy, uh, the Star Defenders, it looks like it might be a five book series, which I'm not, I'm okay with because I think it does need that much room to, to breathe and to tell. I have so many characters, they all need to kind of get their story, story arcs done and the bigger world needs to tie up. So I have to kind of plan out the next two books as well to kind of know where I'm going. So the planning phase is still very much on. Point. I've done around 10,000 words this week, and that's mostly dictation. So they're not words I'm going to be really keeping. But um, it's a way for me to do like a zero draft or a really rough outline for what I when I do get dig into actually telling the story on a day to day, moment to moment basis, which are the scenes. And then I'll write the sequels. And then usually the story just kind of falls together once I have the big picture and then I start working on the individual pieces. How do you um, do your outlines, Amy? Or do you do outlines? I know some people are pantsers in here too. So I'm like, yikes. So around 10K for the week for me. Are you not going to do, okay, no nano this year. Yeah, it's hard whenever you've got school. But I love it that you still curve out some time for our writing sprints. Yay, yeah, it's okay. And if you're not going to do nano, that is absolutely fine. And I respect um, that decision, I honestly probably shouldn't have done it this year because this has been my busy, busy time at work. I am like, oh, I was extremely exhausted after this. The last two weeks has been like 50, 60 hours a week. And I know some people work that every week and I respect you, but that is not me because I have this other writing business that I spend probably 20 to 30 hours a week on. So it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. And, you know, you only got so much energy and you have to be able to function in the world as well. So um, I'm just so happy that this my rough period is over and now I have some time off coming and now I'm getting back into my world and I'm getting back in my writing. So, yay. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate that a lot of people are not doing nano. Well, hello, Miss Dina. How are you, my lovely friend? So good to have you. All right. So if you have not, if you felt like you've not been as productive or have you been kind of sloggy this week, it has been a rough week in the world. And I understand that everyone feels a little bit bruised and battered, but hopefully we're all going to come together in a nice, peaceful way now. And hopefully, uh, goodness and mercy and wonderful positive vibes, as my shirt says, good vibes, will be out there in the world now. And I'll, all I can do is, is make sure my vibe is positive and hopefully your vibe is positive and we can continue to help that spread by being a positive, good influence on each other. So take a break from writing until, until the new year. I'm going to focus on Christmas and the fam and my mental health. Well, I appreciate that. Well, I still appreciate you coming and hopefully these are encouraging to you at least to maybe still nurse your creativity or do whatever makes you feel good. And, you know, we love to have you for socializing purposes, if nothing else, because you are a treat and I love having you here. So we'll be here when you're ready to write. And if you ever want to jump in and just have some fun with it, I mean, don't look at it like a job. If you start looking at writing like a job or something you have to do. I think that it, it takes some of the joy out of it. The beauty of being a writer is, is just allowing yourself to be creative and fun. So, you know, knit, do, do some, you know, draw, do something that just gives your brain some, something to work with. So whenever you do decide to jump back in to actual writing, then you have a lot of things to work with. <sighs> oh, okay. The query letter. Ooh, I'm so happy for you, Miss Brenda. I know you have a, fantastic story. And I am beyond, beyond excited to see that picked up by some wonderful publisher out there. Yay. I'm so glad the Pam Pam is representing today. Oh, I'm singing already. And Oliver is running around. <laughs> 
And then Petunia, I have the poster board up to keep the sun out. And Petunia, all I can see it. I wish I could show you this, but her little eyes are peeking out from underneath the poster board, trying to look at me and wondering why I blocked the window. <laughs> so good luck to you all. I think we're going to do the 16 minute -er because we have had the random generated unicorn sprint of fate has spoken. We're going to do, and look at this new timer I got. Isn't it lovely? And this is what, this actually looks a lot like my home state. This is sort of what I have close to my house. And I gotta say, honestly, it's quite beautiful. And this is a good time of year. Oh, drink of choice before we go into the first print. I have, because I have had a rough week and I'm exhausted, I'm actually doing just a touch of caffeine. These are buys, um, sparkling beverage with a little bit of black cherry al natural but it's still got like a touch of like, I think green tea or something in it. So it's not terribly caffeinated, but it's gonna give me that little pop. So if you've got anything good, please let me know. That's gonna only give me more encouragement. All right, sending positive vibes to you all. And I hope everyone's got a either warm or cool beverage, depending on where you are in the world. And I hope you have your projects ready, whatever you decide to work on. If you just want to relax and maybe let your creativity flow so that you're prepared for the next time that we get together. Or maybe the time after that. I'm not going to set this. All right. I want everyone to get ready. Get your minds focused on your activities. Uh, focus. Get your word processors up. Get your papers ready. We're gonna do 16 minutes on your mark. I'm so not ready, but we're gonna do it. Get set. Go! Eee!
<laughs> Woo! And that, my friends, is time. How did everyone do? Did you get some writing done? I got precious little, I got like three paragraphs, but I got direction. Oh, and I have a special guest who would seem Oliver. Actually, he's looking for a place to nap, so I think we're all right. Yeah, I think we're good. I don't think he's going to make a stunning debut, but you never know with him. He's kind of a, he's kind of a wild card. A wild cat, as it were. And it's so good to see all our regulars here and welcome to all the new people. And I hope that you're enjoying these sprints. We're doing unicorn sprints and the definition of unicorn sprints <laughs> is uh, you guys are going to pick a number between one and ten. And I have a time randomly assigned from 10 minutes to 45 minutes for each number. So I need someone to throw out a number and then we're going to pick it randomly. So yeah, Oliver has decided that it's cleaning and, and napping. Clean and nap and he is fingers crossed because I have this janky poster board <laughs> above the window. I'm hoping he doesn't get too interested in it, or we might just have a blackout. So be prepared for anything with Oliver in the house. So how's everyone doing? How was that first sprint? Did we get some quiet time in? I know we're like kind of like the first sprints always getting, you know, everyone's kind of getting settled and chatting and I hope we continue to do so. And, uh, just allow, you know, even if you don't write, I think there's other ways to encourage your own creativity or maybe really re-inspire yourself a little bit to get back to your writing. Because I know I've had a rough, rough week and it's really hard to be creative when you don't, A, feel inspired or B, you feel very anxious about the world or life in general. Hopefully you're feeling some good vibes here with all of your friends and people who are very supportive. Um, so in this space, let's just find ways to encourage each other to dig into our creativity. Um, things I do is listen to music, uh, and dance around a little bit. Like I listened to some Queen earlier today and, um, just general, like lo-fi beats sometimes really get me in. I actually do some of the subliminal, bleh, I can't say that word, but I listen to some, uh, things that are supposed to get you in theta state, uh, before I start writing, and that actually gets my mind uh, kind of relaxed and focused. Uh, and, you know, I kind of think nice to creativity. I sometimes have to do things by paper. So I do have my, right now I have my notebook. So these are just some things like, play. all right. So like I said in uh, the last break, like I, just have the epiphany that this is going to be at least a five book series, not a three book series. So I have to kind of know what's going to, where I'm leading. So I started doing book four and book five, little thoughts, little list here. And that kind of gets me inspired. So I'm like, oh, if this is where I go, then these are the things I can do now to kind of lay the seeds for that. So that's kind of exciting to me. Um, what else? What else is... Um, just letting my brain rest against it uh, and doing something else a little bit, doing something mindless, such as doing the dishes or going for a long walk and without, you know, listening to anything, just like listening to the rustling leaves. And that allows me to get into my more Zen creative state and surrounding myself with plants and cats. So I get into a nice, safe, relaxed state. So um, those are some of the things I do. And then, Dictation has been wonderful this week, and I use uh, Dragon Speaking Naturally. If anyone wants me to go into detail about how I use that, I have some good tips. Uh, I think I have shared some of that in another actual video, but I'd be happy to coach anybody who wants some help with that. I found it has been kind of a wonderful 
addition to my writing habits. I sound to feel guilty when I do it because I feel like those are not real words, but they are, they definitely are, especially the dialogue really comes through really well when I do dictation. Um, color coding is wonderful. What a great idea. I like that. All right. So that's helpful. And then we name some characters in, in it. Aw, yay, woo, go, Tina, go, go, Tina, go, go, Tina, go, go, Tina, go, you get the unicorn horn of success, yeah, let me officially give you the unicorn horn of success, plus a, a vocalization for you at no extra charge. <laughs> And the angels are singing and the bells are ringing. Let's see what else we got going on here. Color coding is brilliant. And I am actually a color coder. I try to anyway. I find that anything that's too structured, I have a hard time with. Like I get really structured for a while. Yeah, that's productive. Go, Chloe, go. Unicorn horn. Go, Chloe, go. I don't know if I'm turning into a jazz thing or if it's just a Pam. I think it's a Pam. It's a Pam version of jazz, maybe. Just whatever comes to my little head. All right, we have some. We have. We have to pick a number, one to ten. Come on, whoever's the first one to throw out a number, we're gonna do it. Beware what you wish for. Beware picking the number because everyone's gonna look at you and go, "You pick this. You made us do this sprint." Eight. Oh, we got it. 36 minutes. Oh, shit. Oh, you were the first one I saw. So you get it. You get it. We're going to 36 minutes. Holy cow. Holy cow. Uh -huh. The first one I saw was with Shadow. So blame Shadow for this. No. Yay. Thank you, Shadow. I need some actually a good focus time. So, yay. And remember, if you've not already liked and subscribed, or if you're watching this later, I still welcome you. And I still hope this is motivational. And I still hope you're getting your stuff done. Please leave your numbers below. Because so I can come back and give you the whoop, 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 cheer, and a little bit of jazz hands. Maybe a unicorn horn or two. You never know. Yay for everybody who participated and is here socializing and having a wonderful day. And the next one, we should do three. Hmm. You might want to think about that one. <laughs> but, all right, I'm going to keep that on my agenda for the next one. All right, it's been marked. You've been mocked, as they said in Pirates of the Caribbean. Your words have been mocked. And I do quotes from movies, too. So, yeah, that's, that's just, that's says Pam. Pam at her best. Oh, I have, I need some help with something. Um, I do all of my planning for next year. I start now and I watch um, Michelle B and her actual name is Michelle Barnes, but I think her YouTube channel is um, M-U-C-H-E-L-L-E-B. She does a lot of organizational um, stuff and she really turned me on to a lot of really, really good stuff. Um so one of the, and I got her life planner, which has been really like kind of a life changer for me. It's been really, really helpful. And it's helping me get, you know, focused for what goals. I used it all of um, 2020 and it actually kept me on track, even though I was having a hard time with, you know, the world the way it was. I still had a kind of a template of what I wanted to do right from the day, day one. Um and it's more based on like, how do you want to feel every day? And how do you want to feel this quarter? And it breaks it down into quarters, but that's a long story. But, you know, I suggest you check her channel out if you like organizational, um, mind hack, um, good reading. You know, she does a lot of stuff like that, but she's Australian and she's wonderful. Anyways, um, one of the things she has you do is pick a yearly theme. And so I'm having a hard time. And I know it's individual, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the right word would be. Like, I want to do a lot of personal growth next year. I want to be somebody who is a little more self-confident, uh, 
you know, one of my goals is to eventually become an indie writer and just uh, to solely lean on that as my income. So I guess I need more so growth to be able to get into that. Also, I need to be able to be more focused so that I can actually earn a living from my writing and not get distracted. And I feel like I'm working really hard about it right now, but I do need maybe one word. I don't know. It's going to somehow combine like my desire to for self for growth as well as for freedom and those are two i guess of the big ones that i'm kind of working on and i also uh, want to work on connection so because we've been so separated this year um and then this i feel like this live stream has really helped me stay very connected to a community which i love and thank you so much um but i want to even do more like i want to like uh, help people and also help other people as well as just connect with my own family as well as new friends in in real life as well as online and connect in a very closer way so I can give support out there to people. I just want to be a positive force in the world. So I don't know. I need something. That, and that she says, if you don't just pick one, then you're going to be scattered, which is so true. And it's so true for me, especially. So some word that kind of combines some of those vibes into something. And you can be anything from like, I guess some people pick words like pirate, you know, it means that you, they want a more fun loving uh, rapscallion type energy in their life, you know, so their word with pirate or pixie, you know, if they wanted to be somebody who is, you know, humorous and, and loving, I don't know. It could be a word like that, or it could be like creativity or freedom. So I don't know if anyone has any thoughts on a good word to pick to kind of synergize that because I have too many ideas. You can feel free to share that in the comments and I appreciate it. And if you need any help with naming characters or um, any writing, especially dictation, which is what I've been kind of focusing on this week, I would be more than happy to help you out. So leave some comments, get ready because we're gonna do 36 minutes. Thank you, Shadow. Thank you, Shannon. Joke, joke. I love you. Here we go. Sprint number two. Cam, Pam, do it. All right. Now, do you, I hope you guys don't mind. Let me know in the comments, too, if you'd mind these. Some of these have actual sounds. Like this one, it's got a, it's got a, like a water sound. So if that's annoying to you, please let me know. But I kind of found it soothing. Oh, are you Marcus set? Go. So let me know if it doesn't work. I love you. Time to go under. Go, go, go.
friends, it's time. How did you do? How did you do? Who should I bestow a unicorn to? <laughs> I didn't even plan that, obviously. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we welcome Nikki to the Pam Fam. Hello and, and welcome back. I know you've been here before. Let me try to make this small. Make it small. Yeah. Yes, and your book sounds amazing. The kid, parents and kids around the same age as him, and they help him solve the mystery. So a mystery with time travel. And, and that sounds amazing. I actually wrote a book that I have not published about that. Um, the current book I'm working on is actually, it's kind of like Star Wars-esque. It's got like Star Wars and Firefly influences. I'd have to say Battlestar Galactica. Uh, it's about, I say, Harry Potter in space, a bunch of young people kind of going um, through, first they're conscripted into the military, then they go to the academy and they have to learn how to become soldiers and solve mysteries. I'm on book three writing in the series. So it's very, um, a lot of world building and I'm enjoying it tremendously. These characters have really come to life for me. So that part kind of writes itself. It's trying to make sure that rest of my world is logical. So people are not like, Oh, people can't like make sounds in space. What are you doing? Like, so that's hard because I'm not super science minded. I, but <laughs> I did like 326 on that one. So unicorn horns for Pam. And so what did everyone else do? Well, bless your heart, Tina. I'm so happy. I know you're killing your goals this year, aren't you? You're doing so well with NaNoWriMo. So yay, proud of you. And that was a good, obviously a good link. So good job, Shadowheart. Ah, uh, boarding school. Hey, how are you doing, Chanda? Say, Chandra, the author. I am proud and happy to have you here and welcome, welcome. Hopefully you have time for another sprint. Uh, if you're going with three, I need to know because, okay, the unicorn sprints are like this. We have a list. I randomly assigned um, times to the numbers one through 10. So I'm letting the group decide what number they choose. And then I tell them what time is associated with it. And I think that they were saying three. I don't know if anyone has any Thoughts or if I should do a random generator, if you're good with going with three, let's give it like everyone needs to give it a thumbs up or yeah, go with it. Or if anyone has strong feelings about that, please let it be known because once we commit, there's no going back. I am so happy to have everyone. And how is your nano going? If you're newer and you just came on in, uh, welcome, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I do these, these sprints at least once a week, and I'm planning on next week doing even more to keep people encouraged and getting their work counts in. I've done about 10K in my in my uh, Star Defenders book this week, and I'm hoping to get another 10K or more this week. I'm trying to average 2K a day so I can kind of buffer in for times when I'm super busy at work, and it seems to be working. Three, it's not, well, there's another number that might be worse. And I'm not saying worse because, you know, the longer sprints, I feel like we get more done. But, uh, all right, you're doing, we're doing three. We've had, you've done it. All right. So number three is 30 minutes. <laughs> Ooh, boy, howdy. It went down to 10, folks. I did have many options that were way shorter than this. All right. You guys have just picked Coley. <laughs> If you want a short sprints. So the, oh, okay. A quote that inspired my new character. Aw, no one gets left behind. It's like Ohana. See, honestly, I mean, I can't even watch a Disney movie without like bawling. Like I'm an emotional person and Disney for some reason, every time. Stitch, Lilo and Stitch. I don't understand how they do it, but they make me cry every time. So we're going to do a 30-minute sprint next. And I want to know, like, 
if you feel like sharing, what writer tool could you not live without? Or are there multiple that you cannot get your writing done without them? Because I have a few things and it would be hard to choose. Like, I honestly, I mean, the most important is the word processor. Because I used to write um, by hand in spiral notebooks when I was a kid. And then um, I would type things for a while. But that's always, that was always very difficult because of corrections. So this has been when the word processors became really easily accessible. That made my life so much easier. So I would not give up my word. I actually love Scrivener, but I could live without it. Um, I love the grammar checkers. Google. I Google a lot of words, uh, thethoris.com, but I could do it with a paper thesaurus. So I think my word processor, I mean, that's what actually George R. R. Martin, I think the one thing he has is a word star, which is super, super old, like word processor. And that's what he uses. I mean, even an alpha smart would work, which is like a keyboard. Basically, it's got like a little memory. All it does is keep your words in there. And I use you. Do I even have that here? If I don't have it here, I'll show you. But um, the Alpha Smart or the Neo Smart is just a keyboard and it has no distractions whatsoever. It's just got the keys and it memorizes your words. It does like huge, like it can hold days worth of writing and the charge, like it goes on batteries. So you can take it camping. It's really tough. Um, so I probably could live with just that. That would be my probably go to some kind of word processor or word processor type thing. The, and I could tell, I could still tell my stories. Google Docs. Okay, we have a Google Docs. Yep. Uh, Traveler's Notebook. Yeah. Series Bibles and Word Counts. Yes. That is an excellent one. Um, I do my bujos. And I, I honestly cannot live. Like, this is just my life. I honestly would not be able to live life. This is my new bujo for the year. This is the last three months bujo. I actually made this one myself. I did the cover because it was fun and I'm kind of craving to be outside and in the wild. So I did a lot of mountain themes and like drinking coffee outside. And it's got like these like grid, grid paper. You can't see it, but it's got like a really light blue grid on it. <gasps> so good for planning. Cause I'm not very structured, but this makes me feel like my brain is very structured. <laughs> what else we have? What else? What else? Oh, pens, a full color pen set. Yes, girl, you know it, you know it. There's a long list. Yeah, I honestly have a lot of things that make my life easier, but I think that sometimes we overcomplicate things. Wireless keyboard is essential. I do love that. And I have multiple computers that I work on. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're very good at choosing the long sprints. Pen and paper, yeah. The, it, honestly, it comes down to the pen and paper. Just so easy, much easier to edit on a word processor. And I, I hate editing. I mean, I love it when I'm in it because then I can make it pretty. But without a word processor, editing is a nightmare. And I've tried to print out my stuff and do it all by hand, but it's very, very difficult. Uh, okay, well, I like all those. And uh, squizzums. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I understand that too. I understand the love of certain notebooks. I, you know, and gel ink. Yes, I feel you. I feel you because um, I go through phases though. Like there's a certain notebook I'll like and get over and over again, but then suddenly it doesn't work as well for me. So I do kind of span out, but then I always come back to like a purse size or a small, like portable size something so I can just. When I'm out and about, I always have this with me so I can make lists. I can write down random ideas. I know if I forgot something, it's always going to be in here. And then my, I do keep things on my phone too. Like I found the calendar on there is just tremendous. But for future planning and stuff, like I do my weekly plan, my daily plan in here, writer's notes, um, any future to do's, uh, any notes. Let's say I want to talk to you guys about uh, during the live stream, go in here. Um, and I have multiple, trust me. I might guys, I might give you a tour of my bookshelves one day, but I have like a copious amount of book, um, of notebooks and like really cute notebooks. And I, I pull them in and out for reasons. Like when I'm reading a book, I like to take notes sometimes, or 
when I'm doing research for marketing and stuff, because I can't keep all that in there. And plus these cycle out. So they're not forever. So I can't put long-term planning in here, like super long-term planning. This would be good for like a three month plan, but my long-term year long planning all goes in something like, like a more like permanent notebook that's got more space and I can refer back and it's got the calendars printed out and things like that. So hopefully that's helpful or gave you some ideas of what might be important. Um, yeah, when it comes down to it, I think a word processor or a notebook would be perhaps <laughs> left a choice. Yes. No, I, I did do a random generator in my brain. My brain's a random generator. All right. We're going to do 30 minutes on the clock, people. We're coming in hot. 30 minutes on the clock and we're coming in hot. More sprints to come. More sprints. I hope you're liking this. Um, I really like this new um, timer. I think it's got a, kind of got like a nice chill fall vibe. Let me know if you're, you're digging it. Ha! These are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, I actually like those too. And I have used those in the past too, but I find that sometimes it depends on the size of the paper. And my brain is very specific about the width and the height of the paper. So sometimes my ideas tend to expand too much. And if I'm in too of a narrow book, it feels very constrained. Like I can't get the full idea out. And if it's too wide, then I feel like I have to fill the form. And then I don't know, then I leave a lot of empty space. And so Again, I don't know. I guess I go a lot by feeling with it. And so the mid size has been really good for me. And I can usually, like any kind of bujo size has usually worked, or moleskin type size has been really good for me. Yeah, <laughs> BB8. I know, man. BB8 is my, bro is my little baby. I love him. He's the sweetest. I know. They're always my favorite. In my first book, uh, my first book series, The Ionio Chronicles. I honestly, um, I have a droid that's actually like very human-like and I have a lot of love for droids in general, like Data from Star Trek was one of my favorite Star Trek characters of all time. So yeah, I have a, I have a great love for droids and uh, sci-fi in general. So if you didn't know, good vibes to everybody. Going for another sprint. We're going to do it. We're doing a sprint. I hope you're ready. Cause I'm singing like a unicorn that needs to sprint again. I hope you all are ready. Because I'm not. Ah! No, I am. Keyboards ready. Think about what you want to write on whatever surface that you can find, whether it be your phone, dictation, your notepad. I want you to make this next 30 minutes dedicated to your creativity or writing. If you want to read a book, that's fine. Whatever brings you joy during this next 30 minutes. That's all we're going to focus on. That's all we're going to do. On your mark. Get set. Go! Go! Bigger.
And that is that. Holy cow, that was two long ones in a row, but I got around 500 words, people. I said, I'm very happy with the longer stream, uh, the longer sprints. So how did you do? Did you get any good words in? Did you make a difference in that 30 minutes? Did you rock it or did you drop it? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. I want to know. I did 500. So I'm going to give myself a unicorn horn of success. Hopefully I can give you one too. Do, 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 do. We talked about some nerdy things in the comments. And yes, Buck Rogers. I actually watched that when I was really young. I mean, like, yeah, grade school. Grade school. I watched some Buck Rogers and that was a fun show. That and the original Battlestar Galactica. Uh, Star Trek. I The... Next Generation hadn't come out yet. That came out like in the 90s when I was just a teen. So, wow, people killing it. People killing it. Good job. Good job. Woo, unicorn horn for you, my friend. Unicorn horn for you. And Nikki, oh, Nikki, you're so fine. And I'm so happy that we could help you out during this little sprint. And goodbye, and I hope you stick around. Man, we got another one going, possibly, depending on the desires of the crowd. I am a, I am a writer of the people. <laughs> I'm here to motivate you. So if anyone still needs to get some words in, I am there, and I am ready to pick some numbers. I'm going to encourage certain numbers because I do want to have dinner. I'm sure you do, too and take a break, but I am almost at my first thousand words for the day. And then I still need to do another thousand tonight. That's okay. Those are very doable numbers. Woo! Woo! Wow! You rocked it like Herbie Hancock. Yes, you did. Woo! Yes. I am so excited for you, Squizzums. I can't even tell you. I feel like I'm going to explode with joy. Yay! You know how the Muppets would do the, yes, that's me. Yay! I'm definitely doing a Kermit yell and cheer for you. Rock on. Unicorn horns all around. Let's see if I can do this. I got a banner just for you. I got a banner to show you. Unicorn horns of success. Unicorn horns of success. Oh my God, people. We are all killing it today. Killing it. Well done. Well done. You guys killed it. You got it. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. You hit your goal for the day. You know what? Oh, you still want to write another 1770? Wow. Well, you know what? I doff my, cor my, cor my horn for you. <laughs> and if you want to stick around, I'm definitely doing one more sprint. Hopefully on a little bit of the shorter side because I do probably. Yes. Yes, everyone gets a unicorn horn today because you stayed and you are making a difference in your own life and you're sharing your energy in, in positive, good vibes with the crew. So, yay, the Pam fam represents, represents, yay. I am so excited. All right, throw some numbers out, people. And I'm going to say I reject that number. There's like four or five really good options for you. But if we go super long, I don't know if I can handle that. So I might discourage that one. So pick a number between one and nine. Don't choose 10. Just going to tell you. Um, and we'll all do it. We'll do it. Anything under that is probably doable. Two. Oh, that's not a bad one. Two. Two is good. Good job, Shadowheart. Two is a 20 minute. So it's not terrible. Oh, don't say 10. 10 was 45 minutes. So no, definitely not 10, but we'll do a two. Two is 20 minutes. And I don't think that's a terrible sprint. I think that's probably our, our average, a little below our average. And that's a good way. <laughs> 10. Look at you, Chloe. You waggle my finger at you. 10. <laughs> do you want to be here for 45 more minutes? Good God, girl. I mean, I will do it for you. But my heart would not be in it because you see these, this, this person needs blood sugar. <laughs> this is all I got left, man. Got some water 
in a jar. <laughs> I, need, I need to go get some food. All right, you people, you people. 30, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. I can definitely do 20 and I know you can too. So don't give up on me now. Don't give up on me now, people. Don't give up on me now. We can do it. 20 minutes. Let's feel it. Uh, 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 uh. Last sprint of the night. I want to see it tight. Bring in delight. <laughs> and this is why Pam doesn't hurt. But she tries. She tries really hard. So 20 minutes on the clock. I want you all to get excited with me. Um, and thank you for all the support in, in words for my year. I think the self-actualization was actually a good one for me. Um, and Pam Fan was actually a good one, too, because that represents a lot of really positive things in my life and growth, as well as writing and in reaching out and building community with y'all. So definitely on my list of potential words of the year. And I can do supporting words of the year. So those are definitely two that are on my, my list. So thank you. Thank you for that. And may your nanos go well. If you can't stay any longer, I understand. May your writing go well this week. But let's do this 20 minute or let's, let's, let's kill this. Let's be strong. This is 20 minutes. We can do anything for 20 minutes. I know you can do this. I feel your energy. It is getting me hyped. And we're going to have this nice, quiet background. Now shut up. And you actually be able to focus. Yay. So let's go. 20 minutes. Get your mind right. Get your energy right. We're going to do 20 minutes. We're going to make this the best 20 minutes of the day for writing. And I have faith in you. 20 minutes. On your mark. Get set. Go.
And pencils down, everyone. Pencils down. All right. Did my unicorn squad, Pam Fam, hit it and then quit it, which is probably not the nicest thing to say. Did you kill your goals? Did you get some more words in? I'm singing off key. Join me in your word sprints now and we will all be happy. All right, so I got, let's see, show me. Not bad, not bad, 350, 350 for 20 minutes. Yay, I definitely am warmed up now. All right, man, you and I, uh, Chandra, we rock it. We rock it. We pop it. You get a unicorn horn of success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am proud of you. 20 minutes and you killed it. You killed it, girl. I am excited for all of y'all. 15 pages read. Hey, well done. Well done, Chloe. Well done. Well, you know what? Clearing up that outline is super important. I'm happy that your new outline is updated because you know what? Once you got a nice base to work from, then you are a rocket ship, a production. I know you. I know you. You you get those words done. So yay! I know that you will be even more productive next time because you have done the work. And we have all done the work. And this has been a super productive wonderful stream with so many encouraging people and so much wonderful camaraderie and uh, fellowship. And thank you so much for coming today and doing these unicorn sprints. Let me know if you like that format because I thought it was really fun to have random have random uh, times picked. Uh, let me know if you enjoy those. And I will be back next week around the same time on a Saturday. I might do another one midweek. You never know. So do like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, please join the fam Pam Fam. I would love to have you uh, join us in this positivity. And I uh, hope your nano next week goes well. And no matter how, what you're doing, I hope your creativity and your word counts are, are high and your energy is high. And spread that love and joy and, and positivity into the world. So, so send the good vibes out and, you know, we're dropping the pebble here. We're going to send the good vibes out to the world. And then we'll meet again to refill our, our well next Saturday. So how's everyone? Oh, those queries are terrible, Miss Brenda. But you know what? You, you made a step forward because you struggled with it. So now your subconscious mind is going to be working on that when you go to bed tonight. So I'm going to guess that when you next time you come to it, it's going to be a little easier or some... Um, twist is going to come to you that hadn't before. So I think that's probably still a success because you spent the time, the thinking time needed. I don't think we appreciate how much we have to give ourselves. It's not just about the word count, people. These sprints are also about doing focused attention. Focused attention is what gets you deep work. There's a book called Deep Work by Cal Newport. It's an excellent book. And if you have not read it and you'd like to be very productive, I highly suggest it. But um, to do the deep work, sometimes you need that focus time without any distractions. And hopefully we've provided that for you. Yeah, I hope that we have done it. I will probably do it. Actually, since my work schedule has now lightened up, yeah. Well, hey, Jen, so good to see you and welcome to the live stream. I hope that you have enjoyed our sprinting and everything. Welcome, welcome. And uh, I hope you subscribe and you can come back for more good vibes. Good vibes. <laughs> uh, thank you all. And uh, yeah, next week, you guys want to do some Pam Fam in midweek? I will, I will do what I can. So show on back up, bring your creative projects, bring your nano projects. And I will encourage you and you will encourage me and we're going to have a great time. So until next time, keep writing, keep creating, keep sending out the positive vibes into the world. Hug your cats and, and friends and, and loved ones. And, and may you be safe and happy out there. Um, I will see you soon. Love you all. I truly do.
Thanks. And I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, yeah. Follow me on Instagram and crap. Like, I, I post stuff up there all the time. So, bye. Mm -hmm.